hello everyone hope you are right in this video i'm going to start some seeds so basically this is a, a going to be a how to tutorial for beginner gardens who are trying to sow some seeds for the first time so i have got this seed starting tray here it has like 20 inserts in it actually it had 24 inserts in it but uh, i had to cut four here i tell you why so i bought this tray seed starting tray and this seed starting tray from wilco they were really cheap so like um, it's this is the label here i show you it says three seed tray inserts with 24 cells and this was this was only for only one pound so it was really good deal i thought i would buy three of these and three of these so this will act as like a tray where i can put these inserts in here but what happened this has holes in it so it is also a seed starting tray it's my mistake there wasn't much information online so i couldn't figure out whether it has holes in it or not so when i bought it i realized this is a seed starting tray not like a watering tray so this will be used for seed starting like if you want to um uh, so a whole lot of seeds instead of these cells you can fill this with compost and uh, sprinkle your seeds on it like sow the seeds and they will germinate and then you can transplant them later on but with these cells you have the advantage of like you won't have to transplant those seedlings once they germinate because you will already have them in their separate cells and once they are a uh, good size you can transplant them in the ground when the weather warms up or you can try uh, transplant them in a bigger container where they can stay for the rest of the season so basically uh, this didn't go well together so i had to figure a separate watering tray so i have got this plastic tray underneath where these inserts go so basically you can see uh, this is just um, a recycled plastic tray from like we buy candies and cakes and they come in these sorts of plastic containers. You can so save those containers and you can use them as a uh, tray for your seed starting cells. You don't have to have these seed starting cells. You can use anything like these yogurt pods. You can wash them thoroughly and dig a hole in there. It's really easy to dig a hole in there. Just... Um, heat up on knife and put it here and it will make a nice hole so then you can use these for your seed starting so here today i'm gonna use these seed starting cells and they are like uh, one two three four and five uh, um, columns or rows whatever way you do this so i'm gonna I'll put labels in there like uh, i'm going to start peppers tomatoes and eggplants so uh you need to make sure that you label them well otherwise later on you may struggle to identify which seeds are of which plant uh, however if you're an experienced gardener maybe you can tell from the plant what plant it is but if you are sowing more than one variety obviously you need to label them again so you need to make sure that you label them well so you can always identify your plants once they germinate so i'm going to start try some salad tomato which is store bought and i have been sowing them for like um, three years now they taste really great they produce a lot of tomatoes so i have got my tomato here so i will get some seeds out of it and we'll put this in this one you can also put the date so you know when you started this series so today is 18th of february so i'm gonna just make a note of here so i know when i started these so this can go here then i'm going to try these money maker tomato variety i tried this last year as well and these are wine tomatoes with delicious table food so i'm going with them as well so i'm just going to use a symbol here so like m m t money maker tomatoes and again the same date 18th of february now uh, when you uh, it's an important question when should you start your seeds so you can start your uh, tomato seeds indoors eight to ten weeks 
before your last frost state so you can check the last four state in your area it varies from region to region in here in ours uh, i am in zone eight and it's usually like last week of april or first week of may and the last year uh, we didn't have a good weather up until june so it could vary every year and depending on the climate you live in so you need to check your local area what is your last fall state and then count back eight to ten weeks and then you can start your seeds indoors now you can start them in a greenhouse or in a wind, sunny windowsill where it gets lots of bright light so then you will get healthy uh, seedlings but if you don't have a greenhouse or a sunny windowsill you can invest in buying a grow light which will be a good investment in the sense that it will help your seedlings grow healthier and faster i'm going to put them in a sunny windowsill for a couple of weeks and then i will be shifting them in my greenhouse i'm assembling the greenhouse these days but it's very windy and um, cold outside so i'm going i'm doing it step by step and it could take a couple of weeks and don't don't want to delay my process so i start thought i would start them anyway and put them in the windowsill uh, in my bedroom windowsill it gets morning sunlight um, which is quite intense so it gets like if it's sunny it gets like eight to ten hours of sun so i think it would be really helpful then i'm going to start pepper seeds so i have got some leftover bell pepper seeds here from last year which i saved from a grocery store bell pepper so i'm going to label it bell pepper and the date so basically uh, bell peppers could take longer to germinate than the tomatoes so you need to make sure uh, like 10 to 12 weeks before the last frost date so in uh, tomatoes is 8 to 10 weeks and bell peppers is 10 to 12 weeks so you can start together or you can start them a couple of weeks earlier than tomatoes and i'm going to sow some hot pepper seeds from this hot pepper which i have saved so i'm going to label it hot pepper so this is can take even longer than bell pepper so let's see how it goes i'm going to start them all together and the other thing is with these seeds you need to make sure that you put them somewhere where it's warm because these seeds like warm soil to germinate like uh, more than 65 degrees Fahrenheit is the best temperature for these seeds to germinate and grow so um my uh, where i'm going to put these seeds it's a window cell and beneath it has a uh, radiator so it gets a little bit warm on there so i think it would be good if you don't have anything like that you may have to invest in a uh, seed like hot mat which keeps your which you put under your seed tray here and keeps your soil warm and once your seeds germinate you remove it and that's all it just helps your seeds to germinate a little faster it's a good investment but you don't have to do it and the last thing i'm going to try is egg plant seeds which is violeta longer three variety so i uh, they take a long time to germinate as well so i'm going to try it uh, so this today so so all my labeling is done here and i have filled these seed starting kit with moist all-purpose compost so you can use seed starting compost and that will be a really good start or you can use any multi-purpose compost you shouldn't use garden soil or something like that because you want something that's light and fluffy because seeds um need a good germinating medium so as you can see this is like very light and fluffy and spongy it's pre-moistened so you need to make sure that your compost is pre-moistened and because if it's not pre-moistened it's dry and you fill it and put your seeds in it and then you water it later on what will happen it will sink down and your seeds can dislodge and go further down than they should be and then they will have trouble germinating and you don't want that to happen so you need to make sure it's pre-moistened and mm, nicely packed not like very firmly packed because you don't want air pockets in it but you don't want it to be too tight so just nicely and from the packed i have done that and uh, now first i'm going to take my eggplant seeds 
team here. So I have got few. These are very tiny seeds that if I show you. So uh, the instructions on the package says I can sow them from February to March. And they got like, uh, they, when I transplant them, they need to be uh, 60 centimeter apart from each other and two rows need to be 80 centimeter apart from each other they need full sun and the germination time is 14 to 21 days so as you can see these are really tiny seeds here so i'm going to put three seeds in one cell so later on when they germinate i can thin them so I can decide which seedling is healthy and I can keep that seedling and I can um, cut or take out the other seedlings or I can always transplant them in bigger containers if I want to have more plants. But you can always struggle depending on how much space you have got to see how many plants you want. So normally I decide to have anywhere between 5 to 10 plants of each thing going in containers or uh, like i do i'm going to do raised beds this year so let's see how much we can get so i'm going to put three seeds in each cell and i'm all can always thin them later on so once these seeds are in you just need to I'm gonna push them a little bit down not very down just one centimeter down and cover with a little bit of soil so just push them down a little bit or you can use a pencil to make a tiny hole and then you can put your seed in here. So you don't want them to be very deep, just one centimeter is enough. So this is done. Next is hot pepper. So I'm going to cut this pepper open carefully so you can see this has nice seeds in it so i'm going to see how many you can get so i will keep you updated about how the uh, seeds germinate and how i'm transplant them so if you are interested in following the update of these seeds please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos i have also good got um very good um stuff on my channel so please check it out i have got lots of videos about flowering plants and vegetable plants so i think i have got three seeds in each cell and there's some still left over i'm gonna just stick to three so just push them down a little bit and cover them with soil you don't need to fertilize them at this stage because the compost compost will have enough nutrients for them to uh, germinate and progress and once they germinate and has like two sets of true leaves then you may need to transplant them or thin them and then you will start fertilizing them so i will keep you updated about that how i do it normally i like to transplant and save as many plants as i can um, but it can vary from plants to plants and depending on how many of them germinate sometimes none of these germinate so you will have to sow them again so here are my bell plant peppers i'm going to put them here So if you are a beginner garden, these uh, tomatoes and bell peppers are quite easy to grow for a beginner gardener. So you can always give them a try. And if you do everything right, like I'm telling you, you must have success with them. And um, basically, um, eggplants and hot peppers can be a little bit challenging, but you can always do experiment with gardening and that's the beauty of gardening. Um, basically not every year is same there are lots of different parameters which can affect your progress so if you are doing it for the first time and you struggle somewhere please do not feel like you can't do it you can always do it you can always do your research and try again and try to do it in much better way 
because there are lots of things you can't control everything you can just try your best and let the nature do its thing so basically i would suggest don't give up try again and if you try last year and you are think confused this year whether you should do it or not i would say definitely give it a go again and you will be surprised so these are tomato seeds money maker variety so i'm going to put these here three in each cell so basically uh, there are only few variations among these seeds like uh, how long they take to germinate tomato seeds are quick to germinate they can germinate within seven to ten days bell peppers like 14 to 21 days hot peppers can take a month or so eggplants a month or so and basically they need warm soil like above 65 degrees and degree fahrenheit they need good sunlight once they germinate um, to progress so they don't get leggy or stretchy so if you and uh, you don't need to water them at this stage you need to use pre moisten compost and that should be enough but you need to keep an eye on and if the compost gets dry uh, then you can water them basically later on if you uh, the compost gets dry then you can just pour a little water here in the tray and they will suck up so it's good to uh, bottom water these seedlings because then they can be more protective so here i have caught my tomato and i'm going to get seeds so there are a couple of things people do to get the tomato seeds basically they wash the seeds and they do lots of things basically with these and i'm quite lazy so i just try to take them like this and pour like all of them and then i thin them once they germinate but you can always wash them and let them dry on your kitchen counter for a couple of days and then you can sow them the same way but i think from my experience it's quite good doing like this way i have never had a problem so they always germinate more than i need basically so i have to thin them a lot so with tomatoes as you can see i'm not like doing three or four in a cell i'm just taking them out and putting them in these containers and once they germinate i can decide which one ones i want to keep and which ones not so i'm just making sure they are in the center of the cell so yeah if you want to be efficient do wash them and let them dry and then do the way i did this but i think it's just an unnecessary step many people won't agree with me but like everyone can do what they like to do so all my seeds are in there all done i don't have to do anything now i just i'm just going to put them in a windowsill where it's bright and sunny most of the time and hopefully they should germinate and then once my um, greenhouse is done i can move them in the greenhouse where it will be much more favorable environment for them to progress so so after a few days i happened to get some more seeds so i thought i would do this as well and include in the same video so here i have got some more bell pepper seeds which i have just collected from fresh bell peppers the bell pepper seeds which i sowed earlier was from last year so i'm not 100 percent sure whether they would germinate or not so i wanted to do some fresh seeds as well so these are from yellow orange and green bell peppers so i collected them just a couple of days ago and they are pretty dry so i'm going to sow them i have labeled here bell pepper f for fresh the date 26th of february today so i thought i would do these as well and include it in the same video and here i have got some cherry tomato seeds which are awesome so i happened to buy some cherry tomatoes and they were absolutely delicious i have not tried cherry tomatoes before which are so delicious like they tend to taste strange to me so we all liked those cherry tomatoes so i decided i would grow some of them so i saved some seeds from those cherry tomatoes and you can see these are pretty small seeds 
so i have got my seeds ready here and i have got my pots ready here so earlier i showed you the cells proper seed growing cells where you can sow your seeds and later on you can thin them and you can put them in the grounds when the weather warms up or you can transplant them into a bigger pot if you uh, are somewhere where the weather is still not favorable for them to go in the ground but here uh, i'm going to show you another way to do your seed so here i have got recycled plastic pots which are basically fruit pots you buy the fruits and they already have holes in here so you need to make sure they are good holes in the bottom so that will help with drainage so i have put this part and this part i have filled it with uh, all-purpose compost which is good for seed starting it's light and fluffy and it's i have moistened it already so you need to make sure it's already moistened and now i'm going to make some holes in here and then i will be putting my seeds in the holes so basically i will just be sprinkling the seeds and then cover them you don't need to uh, sow them too deep so you can just and if you uh, are going to sow like this here basically in the seed starting cells you make sure to put only three or four seeds and then you thin them to one seed or like one plant per cell but here in this type of container i would sprinkle all the seeds i have and basically none of like um, some of them will germinate some of them will not but later on i can and decide how many plants i want to keep and i can thin them so basically they, if you use a bigger pot like this to start your seeds then you would have to transplant them later on in nursery pots so basically after sprinkling my seeds i'm just going to press them a little bit so they're covered with dirt or you can put some more dirt over them you just need to make sure they are lightly covered not very deep so I think I need to grab some more dirt for them. Basically, I'm just going to press them here and then I will grab some more dirt and cover them with the dirt. So just to make sure that they are not very uh, close by, just sprinkled evenly and they should be good. And here uh, I'm going to do the same thing with these seeds. So basically i'm just going to sprinkle them they are not pretty dry so basically it's they will just stay where you put them and it's pretty simple And the seeds which I started last week, um, of those seeds, the tomato, money maker tomato seeds have already germinated in each cell. I have got the seedlings going on, but the others, uh, I think they are well, um, hot pepper seeds are also starting to germinate, but the other cells haven't got anything yet. So I'm keeping a close eye on them, uh, making sure they don't get dry. If they do, then I just water them from beneath. So basically that's helps with bottom water i like to bottom water because that's why they are evenly watered and the seeds are not dislodged so can you can put them in some recycled pot or tray which holds the water and after 15 minutes the water that's left in the bottom you can throw it away to make sure they are not sitting in the water uh, all the time and uh, basically the bottom water do have some advantages instead of watering from the top so let me grab some more dirt and then i show you so here i have got my dirt and i'm just going to sprinkle it a little bit making sure it's not um, there are no big lumps in it so it lightly covers the seeds
looks okay now all the seeds are covered and here the same thing with tomato seeds And this look nice so that's all for this so I thought I would do the same video so there's no uh, confusion going on and thank you very much for watching this video please check out other videos on my channel and do subscribe to my channel to support me leave your feedback in comments I really appreciate if you leave a comment or subscribe to my channel thank you very much see you next time bye